dear friends we are still in the lockdown period hopefully some areas of the relax uh, the, the lockdown may be relaxed after one or two days hopefully things will change and that there will be a better atmosphere for all of us but still uh, schools and colleges will not be opened the summer holidays may continue after that uh, according to the situation the government may take a, a call uh, so we have to learn to cope up with such situations we need to uh, accept that this pandemic is going to be there we need to, it is not easily going to go away so we need to look for ways and means to engage ourselves positively to give our children what is best in us uh, today as usual i come up with another point for us to reflect and this reflection which i am giving is uh, the the values we need to cultivate in christian schools the catholic schools especially because values are we say no values are caught not taught so they should get a, a conducive atmosphere for them to develop their value system for the future in our schools that's why the significance of our schools uh, uh, come in now one of the aspects we must uh, see is schools are what somebody asked me what is a school you know a school is a place where children can grow maximum and the schools will create a conducive atmosphere for the children to grow and achieve what is inherently good in them so therefore the schools you know the quality of the school is not of the school buildings quality of the school is not the, the infrastructure the libraries the laboratories and the sprawling green campus etc that all help but the but the quality is determined by the quality of its teachers quality of the atmosphere so therefore certain value system has to be upheld in our schools and i think the first and foremost value we have to give to our children is value of excellence you know there are uh, four c's in jesuit education we came up with four c's you know starting with the c the first one is we say competence first one is competence competence means excellent another word excellence so we must make our children so competent in whatever they do competent in commitment competent in serving people competent in being men and women for others competent in speaking taking responsibilities leading people whatever they are they should be competent therefore that's the first value you know there are four c i can say first one is competence second one is conscience people must be conscience means it's a value system an internal system third one is compassion we should make people sensitive to the needs of the other so therefore that point we cannot neglect and the fourth point we are uh, placed with is commitment that is a four c's anyway commitment not only for now commitment the future generation commitment to the earth commitment to environment and so on we are talking about climate change and so on so much you know so if we are committed we will take care of this earth and hand over this earth for the future generation also so therefore excellence is the first value we must teach second one is innovation and inquiry and curiosity you know we must create a, what is education education is creating curiosity curiosity if i get the curiosity i will search for truth i will search for answers and that inquiry will happen and i will find out answers for my doubts and uh, questions that are arising in us therefore innovative ways inquiry and curiosity must be created innovation means we cannot go on doing the same thing every time creative way of thinking and creative way of contributing that's what we need to teach in our schools the third one is a uh, diversity must be accepted you know india is diverse not only in the in the mountains and valleys and ri- rivers and um, what do you call lakes beautiful trees etc not only that one we are diverse in religion culture ethnicity language 
and even the physical appearance etc each state has a, a different uh, uh, group so that diversity must be accepted diversity of thinking there may be questioning there must be dissenting voice etc we must accept them the diversity must be encouraged today all the more it is important in india we must accept that beauty of diversity we say no unity in diversity that diversity aspect is slowly i think deliberately or somehow steadily it is missing and i think we need to encourage that diversity and the, and acknowledgement of this diversity and appreciation for the diversity because god has created each one differently uniquely we need to work for equity equity is not equality equality in my opinion is not that possible equal opportunity is possible in fact the indian constitution dr b r ambedkar has given the equal opportunity for all the ladder you know which is high and low and uh, all kinds of things you know we have the structures like you know high low etc that has been put down in this way and the indian constitution gives everyone an equal opportunity whether you are high or low everyone can become everything we can study the, you can gain you can achieve that is the beauty of our constitution so therefore the equity is important equity is related to justice and therefore that aspect has to be stressed in our schools and i think that is that is a progressive education and the next point we need to concentrate is community and participation you know you know when you study you must have heard about you know schools or education institutions are not a separate entity every school is a miniature society we have variety of children coming from different context of the society are representing that in our classrooms so society is manifested in this in the form of a classroom therefore we must uh, give uh, community participation parents must be participating our um, uh, local uh, life must be part and parcel of our educational and our in our schools etc so the community and uh, and local participation is very very important another important area we must stress today is ecological sustainability you know our schools must be role models in that sense of uh, keeping our environment safe giving uh, a safe environment a, a, a green campus in that sense we must make it and uh, there should be plastic free campus most of our schools are doing it but then much more seriously we need to plant trees encourage children the importance of trees and also uh, sustainable energy you know most of the schools we can try out that we take uh, the entire energy through solar panels etc and uh, that way we need to give this this education to our children for the future generation and then another one is you know keeping a safe environment for our children there is all sorts of abuses we have we know about abuse of negligence abuse of physical and corporal punishment abuse of uh, uh, we know the what you call the, the third abuse is uh, psychological abuse hmm? and uh, we, the fourth abuse is called uh, uh, sexual abuse so in our campus absolutely no abuse will take place a safe environment and secure environment must be provided for our, our, all our children and with no gender discrimination everybody must feel that they are fully growing with their potential in our campus that is very very important to uh, look into by our authorities for our, our school and then next one is integrity must be cultivated you know people who are integrated not that uh, we only one area i am good at for example intellectual monsters we are creating no you may be good at intellectual but that is not enough we have multiple uh, 
phases and uh, society needs all sorts of people and that is what we need to look into that's called integral education and we must bring both you know we say integral education we say both head heart and hand three h's all must be equally given importance in our schools and finally respect themselves others and human rights we must give human rights everybody has a right to live a right to act a right to earn a right to speak etc etc a right to believe for example all those things that 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 has to be given that's called human rights uh, we must cultivate these values in our schools and respect for uh, oneself also i respect myself if i have respect for myself i respect others also so my dear friends in our educational institutions we have a responsibility apart from the syllabi apart from the curriculum apart from the subjects which we are teaching we need to give these values in and through the subjects which we are teaching that is why we are standing out differently that's why our schools are so tough that's why our schools are special for the people to get an integrated all round education let's work for it thank you very much god bless you